hello and welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm gonna show us how to create a dynamic report across workbooks using a powerful sum ifs function and then we're gonna see how to create what is called spark lines which are many charts that allows us to visualize a trend in our data sets and finally, we're going to see how to manage the links between our linked workbooks. So let's get started. Now, in our sample data set, we have this data that is officially formatted as an Excel table. And we can verify by clicking on the table design contextual ribbon tab. And we can see the table, which is table one. So we have these columns, dates all true to total columns now we do not want to create the report in this sales data workbook rather we actually have a new workbook that we have created the layout to create our dynamic report so we have this new workbook okay so we have all the unique here and of course we have all the unique brand that is associated with the source data column B and column D respectively. So let's go over to this, you know, worksheet workbook and create our formula. Now, before we create our formula using a powerful sum ifs function, it is reasonable to put our workbooks side by side. And to do that, we can easily come to the view tab and under the window group, we have the arrange all button so i click on that and then by default we have the tiled which is the most reasonable one of course there is horizontal vertical and cascade but i prefer the tiled so i click on ok and then i can see the two workbooks open side by side and of course i can work across the two so let's write our formula in the sales report workbook so i come to cell b8 i'm going to deploy the powerful sum ifs function that adds value based on multiple criteria so equal sign sum ifs okay i press the tab key now the sum ifs requires the sum range so in this case we actually want to give the total column that we want to sum which is the range. So the first click in this workbook will select the entire workbook. And the second click will go ahead and select the column that is total column in column A. So I click on that. Now we can see this syntax. Now this simply means sales data is the name of the workbook. And then we have the .xlsx, which is the file extension in microsoft excel and then we have this data which is the name of the sheet from the sales data and then we have table one which is the name of the table initially and then we have inside the square brackets the total which is the total column we just selected okay so that is what all the syntax is all about now i'm going to put in a comma so let's follow this screen guide so we need to provide the criteria range one now the crest the year column so i put in a comma and then for the criteria one now i don't need to select the first one all i need to do is to select all of them because i'm working with m365 so i expect the formula to spill to the neighboring columns so by selecting a8 colon a18 so it's going to spill so i do not need to apply what is called partial referencing okay just like you lock the column and you unlock the rows and so on i don't need that here okay so i put in a comma now for the criteria range tool i can select the workbook first and then i select column d then I put in a comma and for the criteria two, I have all the labels here, which are the BMW, Ford, under and so on. So I'm going to select all of them, right word, okay. And then I can close the formula and deploy control enter. And that's amazing. So we have the total by year 
and brand okay let's just tidy things up by applying currency in our regional settings so i select all the numbers and then i deploy Control shift 4 and let's get rid of the decimals in the home tab under the number group i click on decrease decimals okay let's just increase this workbook for now all right so we have our formula working okay so we can easily consume this data and make a decision on it now let's create our spark line which is called a mini chart that allows us to visualize a trend now i'm going to select this cell i8 of course it's not compulsory but to speed things up i'm going to select i8 and then come to the insert tab under the spark lines we have line column win or lose in this case we do not have the settings or the layout for the win or lose so we can choose column or line so let's go with the column spark lines so i click on that now in the create spark line dialog box i need to select the data range so this is the data range for the first one and then we have choose where you want the spark lines to be placed and of course i have choose cell i8 initially so i click on ok and then i can see the spark lines inside the cell so i can just drag down the formula the spark lines rather and then you can see the trend over time i can even put it in the line spark line if i want that's fine but let's go with column so in the show group you can highlight the eye point and then you can see it is highlighted you can even highlight the low point and then you can play around with the styles if you want and then we have the sparkling color you can choose any color of choice let's say i want to choose um, this red color it changes and we have the spark i mean the marker color you can choose for the eye point you can give a specific standard or theme colors for either the eye point low first or last points so you can just play around and see how it works now let's just come to the total here and deploy alt equal sign to give us the total okay now let's go ahead and see how to manage the links now before i do that i can minimize this okay, okay. so because i have closed the source data when i click on this cell any of the cell you can see the formula bar has changed we can press ctrl shift u to expand the formula bar so we can now see the extension we can see that it is saved in the in my seal drive and we can see the name of the user and of course on my one drive desktop and the name of the excel <coughs> workbook okay now let's ctrl shift u to collapse the formula bar now let's come to the data tab under the queries and connections we have this headed links here that allows us to manage the links of the linked workbook okay so i click on that and then i can see in the edit link data dialog box i can see the source data and the type and so on now you can do some other things like let's say you want to change the source data you can do that or you even want to open or you want to break the link you can do that that's fine let's just open the source data and you'll see the excel source data open so let's do that okay can you see that it has opened and let's one more time arrange all okay now if anything changes here it will automatically update in our formula because it is dynamic okay let's just you know choose this one you know total by bmw and year 2014 let's apply a fill color you know to mark that let me just use something nice here and let's check for 2014 okay we have 2014 2014 and bmw now let's say i increase this total from 1000 to let's say a hundred thousand pounds okay now watch what happens here the moment i click enter can you see it automatically updates because it is dynamic it is working with formula okay so this is essentially how we can use the powerful sum is to create a dynamic report 
across different workbooks by the way this formula also works if we're going to use vlookup or xlookup or any worksheet functions it's going to work okay and i hope you enjoyed this video if you do you can like comment share and subscribe to this channel if you have not done so thank you and bye for now cheers